In this video, I'll walk you through some 5 free apps you can use to automatically transcribe your audio or video into text for free, locally on your computer, powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Welcome to this video, my name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the first one is Vibe, it allows you to transcribe on your own, and the first three are highly updated, the last two uh, have not been updated in a while, but they still work. Now, Vibe is the first one, and it allows you to transcribe on your own, uh, so you can see, uh, and you can see uh, the interface, what it looks like, and the features available for that. It allows you to transcribe almost every language. Uh, it also has the option to batch transcribe multiple files, and also export formats, including SRT subtitles, VTT subtitles, text, HTML, PDF, and so on and so forth. It also allows you to summarize transcripts, get quick multilingual uh, summaries using the cloud API. Olama support to do local analysis and batch summaries with Olama. That's something that is also available. And I'll probably do some deep dive uh, video on Vibe uh, in some later tutorials. Uh, because of all the uh, softwares I'm going to talk about, it's the one I've kind of not talked about on the channel before. So it has a ton of things. You can also translate to English from any language. Uh, and then all a ton of things. And you can see the supported platforms right here mac os windows linux so uh if i just open this in a new tab this is more or less like their official uh website uh right there and you can see what it looks like but on this particular page if you come to the releases uh you'll see uh like the last release was on april 24th uh, right there and then you can download uh if you're on mac dmg uh, Windows setup and so on and so forth. Those are things you can work with, download and install uh, on your computer and use it to automatically transcribe your audios or videos into subtitles or even texts uh, if that is what you're looking into. Next one is Buzz. Uh, I've done a couple of tutorials on this. Buzz transcribes and translates audio offline on your personal computer. It's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see what it's all about. Uh, it's also on the Mac store, so you can uh, use it right there as well. And you can see the kind of interface it has. Uh, and as for the downloads, uh, if we come just back up here, the releases section, it was released. Uh, the last release is in November 24th, 2024. But when you look at this right here, uh, fix for subtitle, resize, crash on Mac OS, you can see that say, there's some development going on. And if you actually kind of check on issues as well it's always good to check on issues you can submit new issues there and kind of see uh, the engagement in a particular issue uh, that you're having uh, and the reply so when you see something like this like uh, two days ago that should tell you that as much as it uh, the last release was uh, on november 24th 2024 then there's something going on in the background so some uh, new uh, functionalities being added, some uh, debugging and all that. So that is Buzz, available for uh, Windows and Mac. And then we've got Subtitle Edit. Now, Subtitle Edit is a subtitle editor, but it has uh, the option for audio to text via Whisper. And this is really, really awesome. It has a ton of options, uh, mostly for subtitling, but you can also use it to transcribe uh, your audio or video to text and export them as transcripts now uh, this is highly updated uh, there were some few things added yesterday as you can see the Gemini flash 1.5 8b model uh, yesterday and the latest release is April 14th 2025 so it's highly highly updated and this is why uh, it's one of the best free subtitling softwares out there so especially with the functionality of transcribing and subtitling videos using whisper it actually made it uh, so much, much better than anything else out there. As for the releases, you can click on that. And I will leave all the links in the description below for the releases section and uh, the uh, other pages uh, that is. So if you scroll down, you can see the beta for all those who want to try it out. Uh, it's on Windows and you can also run it on Linux. Uh, there is no version for Mac uh, as, as of now. Uh, hopefully in the future, there will be a Mac version for subtitle edit as well. Next up, we've got a uh, Whisper desktop app. And as you can see, this one was last updated two years ago. 
but it still works because as we all know the official whisper has not been updated in a while and you can see OpenAI came up with uh, new transcription models that are too large to be run locally and they are kind of just being rendered via APIs uh, but as for uh, Whisper Desktop, it's a high performance GP GPU inference of OpenAI's Whisper Automatic Speech Recognition ASR model. And I do have a tutorial on this and I liked it. And as you can see, the last official uh, like release is July 22nd, 2023. That's almost two years ago. And uh, it's you can see it right here. You can load your models. Uh, and then you can output format, text, you can transcribe. It's really uh, super simple to do that. You can also use it to capture the audio and do more or less live transcription uh, with it. And you can see the features right there. Now, as for the releases page, just click on this and you can see the releases page right there. Very small application, uh, just a graphic user interface and then you download the model and so on and so forth. So uh, that is uh, Whisper Desktop app. And then we've got the last one, Speech Translate. It's a real-time speech transcription and translation application using Whisper OpenAI and free translation API interface made using T Kinta, code written fully in Python. And the last kind of edit was last year. And uh, the last major release was January 7th, 2024 but it does the job as well. So if you scroll down, it's a practical application that combines OpenAI's Whisper automatic speech recognition model with free translation APIs. It serves as a versatile tool for both real-time and live speech to text and speech translation, allowing the user to seamlessly convert spoken language into written text. Additionally, it has the option to import and transcribe audio stroke video files effortlessly. Speech Translate aims to expand Whisper ability by combining it with some translation APIs and so on and so forth. So this is what it looks like. You can see the features, the installation, everything is more or less straight on. Uh, compatibility OS, uh, and you can see uh, the different options. Installation from previewed uh, binary only on Windows. Installation as a module, you can see it's available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Installation from Git, it's available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So uh, all you need to know is right here. Uh, you can just go over that. And then as for the releases, just click on that. And you'll see what's changed and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, and you can see... Uh, you can take a look at this before downloading. Use CUDA version for GPU support. Uh, and everything that you need there. But for the releases, should be somewhere here. And you can see CPU only. CUDA uh, right here. If you have a graphics card, then you can work with either of the following. But those are five free apps powered by OpenAI Whisper that you can use to automatically transcribe audio or video into text. And they are Vibe. Buzz, Subtitle Edit, Whisper Desktop App, uh, powered by Constme, and Speech Translate are uh, more or less uh, free apps that you can use on your computer to do all the transcription and subtitling you need for free. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.